Hello and welcome to Crypto Uncovered. My name is Antonio and today we'll be explaining about blockchain. If you're new to the channel, our goal is to try to give an easy to understand version of a very technical world of crypto. So make sure to subscribe to be notified when we release new videos. Started looking into the world of crypto, you must have come across the word blockchain, also known as distributed ledger technology, DLT. The technology has been around since the 90s, but is commonly associated with cryptocurrencies now. It refers to the infrastructure and protocols that allow simultaneous access, validation, and record keeping across a network of computers in an unchangeable manner. The information is arranged in blocks of information, hence the name blockchain. Once the block is added to the chain, it cannot be deleted or changed. Only new ones with new information can be added. The decentralized nature of the network and the fact that the blocks are simultaneously added on the blockchain across all networks, it makes it very resistant for cybercrime, since to hack the network, you have to control 51% of all computers in the network at the same time. Blockchain is about the idea of a decentralized network against a centralized one that we use today. It has far-reaching implications beyond cryptocurrency on industries that rely on a trusted third party for verification of transactions. Governments, they have a central authority to verify titles and ownerships of properties. If the system was incorporated in a blockchain, there would be no need for this verification since the blockchain cannot be tampered with and would be publicly available to be checked. And supply chain management have found incredible efficiencies in the use of blockchain to reduce friction and increase trust in the supply chain, being able to guarantee quality and source of products, which have been very hard to do before this technology. VeChain and Chainlink are two cryptocurrencies trying to find solutions for the supply chain industry. Most recently, NFTs, which means non-fungible tokens, or you can think of as unique tokens, they have been on the spotlight, offering ways for the artists to attach their art and music to a unique token, giving the owner exclusive rights of ownership and potentially revenue per access in the future. Another key use for blockchain technology is smart contract technology, which are simple programs that create contracts with set criteria to self-execute upon the criteria being met. A simple example would be to contract to ship a BMW upon receipt of one Bitcoin. If the Bitcoin is paid, the seller will get the Bitcoin and the BMW will be automatically shipped to the buyer. Of course, this is an extremely simple example and this is one of the most promising fields of the blockchain technology. And for cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum and Cardano that enable those contracts on their blockchain. So we'll be bringing this video to a close and there is a very overly simplified version of what a blockchain is. I didn't want to be overly technical and intimidate you with some of the terminologies. But overall, I hope this gives you an idea of what a blockchain is and some of its uses. If you like the content and you want to see when we release further content in the future, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Uh, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the video come up in YouTube for other people like you to see the content. And we thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.